Hello everybody, my name is Kenneth Elliott and today I am putting together a little how-to tutorial video that explains how to create a Bing data feed from a CS cart um, store in order to deposit that into Microsoft Ad Center into Bing Shopping. Um, just a little background, I operate a few websites on the internet right now um, and I've been searching so hard to try to figure out this this instance of how to automatically each day upload my data feed to Microsoft Ad Center or Bing um, shopping that it, it just frustrated me I mean I, I I spent almost a year trying to figure this out, trying to figure out why can't I do this, why can't I do this. I looked at a number of um, programs that you could buy, but nobody really supported um, Bing. So, you know, I, I kind of tabled it for a while, but then, you know, as CS Cart started, you know, getting a little further in their development stages, they put out a pretty good um, part for the data feeds uh, plugin that would allow me to go ahead and do everything that I'm, I've been trying to do for the past year. So, first of all, I want to show you, you know, what I pr pretty much have together. Um, I'm doing this from one of my websites, um, which is called shophamstercages.com. Now, I'm going to show you what version this is and everything like that. You you will have to have a more advanced version of CS Cart in order to do this. You cannot do this with the older versions because the the data feed plugin just does not have everything that you need in the older versions of CS Cart. I'm on 2.3 at this present time with this 2.2.4. With this cart that I'm I'm using, now you also will need to have a Microsoft Ad Center um, account. So if you have not put together a Microsoft Ad Center account, you will need to go ahead and take care of that. Um, the address to do that is at adcenter.microsoft.com and then go ahead and sign up for your own account and you, you'll have access to Bing Shopping which happens to be free which is excellent um, if you have a product that really sells very well you could get on Bing Shopping and it'll probably take you about a week to get approved once you get all this taken care of in terms of getting data feed taken care of and you'll be up and running with them um, like I said, I have this set up so that this is running every day. It is feeding them information every day. Every time I add a new product to my cart, it is automatically added to my data feed. I don't have to go in and change over the data feed, um, change it to UTFF format, nothing. It, it all is done pro programmically for me which is excellent and exactly what I've been trying to do for the past year as I said so let's get started um, first of all you know you you will need to find out what in terms of what you sell what um, line items you need in, ter in terms of um, putting the data feed together and having the fields mapping to the right areas for me I did something very simple. Th these items over here, field names, are very simple. The bare minimum minimum that Microsoft needs. Um, I did go ahead and give them positions in here. I recommend that. I don't want it to be mixed up once the feed is, is taken care of. So um, I did that, put that together. You know, the MPID, the title feed, the uh, product unit URL. URL, the price, the description, and the image URL. Very simple, straightforward things. Um, and I did map them to what I am using for all of these fields in my in my in my store. Also, on the general tab, 
well, let me back up. You have to create this first of all, which is very basic and everything. Microsoft Bing recommends that you name the file beanshopping.txt. It has to be a text file, it cannot be an XML file or anything like that. Um, I name my data feed Bing. Um, also, enclosures, you can't have any um, tags in your text document like um, paragraph tags or, or space tabs or, or divs or anything in there. You can't even have co um, colons in there or your, your uh, feed will be rejected by Microsoft. So this field right here was very important to me. When they add, added this in where you can add t a, a, a colon or remove a colon, this was the game changer for me. So make sure you do not, do not have a colon here. You cannot have it. Next, you want to go ahead and I have mine as a tab de delimited um, structure in there. Of course, it's active and everything, but I also on my in my um, how I have everything set up for the website. I have a specific place that I point Microsoft to to say this is where you get your feed from. So. Um, you may want to put this somewhere. It, it does default to the um, bar XM area, but I decided I did not want to go there. I have it going de defaulting to the feed area. And if you take a look, um, shop hamster cages dot com slash uh, feed slash Bing shopping.txt you'll see that I have it automatically coming out um, where people where they can grab it and, and see exactly what I have in, in my database and what I have what products I'm offering so once I had all that set up I next played around well getting all that set up I, I I next wanted to go ahead and have Bing everything set up in Bing so once you get your account and everything you want to go to your tools menu and in here you're going to see management tools and you're going to see Bing shopping account management I, like I said I do have three stores that are going through this account we're going to look at only one. So let's look at shopping, shophamstercages.com. So, okay, so I come in here and you have to set all this stuff up. So you want to have your merchant name, which you call in the site. You also want your display URL as well as your destination URL. This is usually your home page and everything. Give a small description of it you want to say you know what do you have do you have a physical store do you have a in-store pickup policy do you have live support I do have some live support and everything but you also too you have to provide a logo for them they will not allow you to get through this page unless you put a logo on here so go ahead and upload your logo it does have to be a certain um, a certain um, width and height this is 88 p pixels by 31 pixels in height so width height 88 pixel width 31 pixel height it has to be exactly that so you you know I, I, I would hope that you're into the graphics that so you can um, bring your your logo down or up in order to fit what is needed go ahead and save that once you've done that, then you want to go to your catalog management tab. And you want to add in your how you're going to provide your feed. Like I said before, I have it all broadcast daily. And this updates daily as I add or delete products. So you want to take that where you're broadcasting it at, at you want to copy that area 
that URL you want to take it back over there and you want to paste it right into that and you will have a connection between you and Bing you want to have Microsoft download you don't want to do merchant upload that means you'll have to do it every day to update your uh, data feed to them go ahead and save that so quick and easy it does it you got it done and everything like that you have that feeding into Bing shopping it's updating every day as you can see for me it is updating every day I'm not adding a whole lot to the store right now this is one of my test stores and everything so I'm not really adding a whole lot to it on a daily basis so and as you see it is getting uploaded every single day at a certain time you also want to set up what time you want it to upload and and I have a cron job on the back end on my store which is set up through my C panel of my store that will go through and it will execute it will go ahead and execute this data feed every day pulling all of my my uh, products in and creating that text file the being shopping dot text file so um, if you don't know how to do a cron job if you don't have um, cpanel or something like that get with your administrator get with who you have your um, your hosting company and have them explain what your how you do your data feed how to set up a cron job and everything you do have to set up some things in the data feed here in CS cart um, that is done through add-ons administration add-ons and then you go to the data feed data feed plugin hit edit and then they ha there's a space there that you go ahead and you update what your password is for your cron job and stuff like that I'm not going to do it because that will reveal what my passwords are and everything like that and I'm not really I don't want to you know show that kind of information but very simple once you get that it gives you the line of how you do it the line of how the cron job is supposed to be entered in on the C panel and also you have to find it within your path of how you have your your site set up on the path on your servers also so once you get all that straight and everything you have your data feed set up with your CS cart going to Microsoft Bing like I said this data feed plugin is free with CS cart which was excellent for me because I did not want to spend some more money on another data feed program which I do have other programs that I deal with on my other stores that deal with Google which put it that puts it in an XML format but also too I set this up free with the data feed for Google also so Google base Google merchant I am plugging in free with them I'm even I'm even able to deal with the availability tab um, category or, pr or problem that um, a lot of people are having issues with when they're trying to set up Google through this data feed so you could do the same thing go through the same process with Google but you will also have to add in a a product feature that says okay I want to have in stock out of stock and you'll and as you add or delete or you run out of products you will have to go in and manually change that but on the back end it's automatically every day updated all that to Google base Google merchant so um, I highly recommend CS cart I love the the interaction the, the that I have with the the back-end people who made made this program I highly recommend all the tools that it has of course you'll have to do some extra things here and there but CS, CS card is excellent and I uh, I love it once again my name is Kenneth Elliott and I hope that you get a good idea of how that how you can use Bing in order to 
create a data feed that will help you to put your data feed into B shopping with the CS cart um, shopping cart. Once again, Kenneth Elliott, if you have any questions or anything, please leave them on this video. I do answer the questions. Um, I have another website called marketassociate.com that I update certain things in terms of SEO and stuff like that. Come over and visit, see some of the new stuff that I'm putting together, and you know, I, I really hope that you enjoy this video. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, um, yeah, I forgot to get one more piece of this puzzle that perplexed me for a long time. Um, CS Cart, when they save your data feed, they put your data feed in UTF um, Windows format. Microsoft being shopping requires that the file has to be in UTF format, nothing else. So there is a programmatical change that you will have to make in order to make all this work. Um, it's two lines of code that you will have to add. I hope you see them right here. Let me see if I can make them larger. Of course, I put it into something that Okay, you will have to add these two lines of code to CS Cart. Now, where will you have to add, add those at? Well, you have to add them to controllers, controllers slash admin slash xm e x i m dot p h p. You want to add them at line 1045 this is some of the code right here and everything in that line you'll have the um, F close FD change mod and everything to change your um, directory the the mod of your directory what who can access his permissions on that within this if part right here you have to add those two lines of code once you add those two lines of code you want to save it and upload it to upload the exm.php file right back to your um, directory structure and that should be it that should save the program when the text file is saved save it in a UTF format. Now how can you check and see if that is correct? Well you will need to get a program that recognizes if it's in UTF or not. You can use Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word if you open the text file in Microsoft Word it will show you either at the bottom or at the top that it is in UTF format. Or you could go out and get Notepad++. Um, this is a free notepad that you can get on the internet. Just search in Google for Notepad++. It should come up. Once you get that, go ahead and download that to your computer. Execute it. Install it on your computer. Once you execute and install it, just go ahead and upload your text file, the Bing Shopping text file, from your website onto your computer. Open it with Notepad. Plus plus. At the bottom, you'll see if it is a UTF F, UTF eight format. That's it. If it's a UTF eight format, everything is working correctly. You have the text file. You have the Bing shopping file. You have everything uploading. You have set up your cron job. Everything is ready for them to approve you and you to be downloading, uploading your data feed to them every single day and you just operate your shopping cart the way you, you normally do. Once again, my name is Kenneth Elliott and I hope you have a great day.